Turing. Trey Trainer is the chair of the Federal Election Commission, which oversees public funding in presidential elections. Trey, thanks so much for, for joining me here. Uh, I'll start with this. What is your reaction to what's happening in Pennsylvania? Do you believe or do you know are observers able to watch the ballots being counted as Pam Bondi pushed back on? Well, based upon what I know, uh, observers have not been allowed into the polling locations in a meaningful way as required by the court order that the Trump campaign received. Um, when they have been allowed in, the kind of the goalpost has been moved. Uh, they were supposed to be allowed within six feet of, of the ballots, and, and they have not been allowed that meaningful access. You know, and our whole political system is based upon transparency uh, to avoid the appearance of corruption. And that's what we do at the FEC every day. Uh, and now we're seeing this play out uh, in Pennsylvania and other states where there's not transparency in this election. Trey, as we move forward in, in, in modern times, everyone has a cell phone. There's video just about everywhere. You can see just about everything. And the video we just showed earlier appears to show someone filling out the ballot at the table. There's so many videos out there. Um, and again, we have to confirm all of this stuff. But do you believe there is voter fraud out there, specifically in Pennsylvania and other states that are weighing heavily in on this election? I do believe that there's voter fraud taking place in these places. Otherwise, they would allow the observers to go in. When you have claims of, you know, 10,000 people who don't live in the state of Nevada uh, having voted in Nevada, you have the video showing where people are, you know, they're either they're either duplicating a, a spoiled ballot right there or they're uh, in the process of just marking a ballot that came in blank. Uh, for a voter. Uh, that's a process that needs to be observed by election observers. State law allows those observers to be in there. Uh, and if they're not, then the law is not being followed, making this uh, an illegitimate election. All right, let's go back to that video if we can. The video we're watching there, if he's filling out the ballot on the top, the top right there, so this would be fraud, Trey. If, if, if he is filling out that ballot, yes. Now, you know, sometimes they go through a process of, of duplicating a ballot when a ballot can't be fit into a voting machine because it's torn up. And, I, you know, we don't know if that's happening here. But uh, if he absolutely, you know, if he's absolutely marking these ballots as just blank ballots that came in that didn't have votes, then that would be, uh, that would be a, a voter fraud. He seems to be working that pin up and down, up and down on that sheet very intently there. And it's not the only video um, that we've seen. There's so much out there as well. And I, I'm sure this will be presented at a later date and perhaps for the court system to find out. But what about this? The fact that more than a dozen down ballot Republicans scored huge victories on election night. But the person at the top of the ticket, President Trump, seeing his margins in places like Georgia, Pennsylvania, continue to shrink by the hour, most notably around 4 a.m. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, you look back at 1871, it was Boss Tweed who said, you know, I don't care who, who votes uh, as long as I get to be the one who counts the votes. And sometimes that's also attributed to uh, Joseph Stalin, but I think he was probably uh, quoting Boss Tweed at the time. Um, you know, in every instance we have here where the states are too close to call, they're controlled by uh, the Democrat Party, particularly in the urban areas where they're being counted. Um, and it just seems unimaginable to me that you could have down ballot races where Republicans uh, are winning across the board. And that happened across the country. The Democrats failed to flip any state legislature, failed to win any seats in Congress uh, in the U.S. House. And yet the president uh, is losing in all of these states. There's so many questions, and that's all we're doing. We're asking the questions about it because they are there. Uh, and so is the president's son, Don Jr. He actually tweeted this out this morning. He said this, when America sees everything we are uncovering, they will be disgusted, and even the media won't be able to pretend voter fraud isn't real. Ending this crap once and for all will be fundamental to preserving our republic and faith in our democracy. So, Trey, my question is this for you. Have you yourself or anyone on your team, have you been briefed on any of this evidence they say they have been uncovering beyond what the public is already reporting in the videos we've seen? What have you heard? What have you been briefed on? Well, we really haven't been briefed on any of it, given that we don't, you know, the states control the elections and the FEC really doesn't have any jurisdiction over how those, these are being handled at the state level. Uh, for the federal level, they would communicate through the Elections Assistance Commission. Uh, but from what I've seen of the lawsuits, there are very valid allegations that are being made uh, that need to be uh, fully vetted by the court system. And ultimately, we're probably going to see these things end up in the U.S. Supreme Court with various challenges under the 14th Amendment.